Hi again to the I Smile series, Munir Ajam, uh, speaking on a project management topic. And this topic is the delivery phase of the CAMP methodology that SUCAD have developed. Uh, as we have discussed before, the project life cycle per the CAMP model consists of three phases. The discovery phase, the development phase, which we discussed both of these phases in earlier videos, and the delivery phase. Obviously, as the name delivery mean, is that this is the final phase where the project work will be done to be delivered to the customer, internal or external. In this phase, we have four stages. Two of them are the traditional phases that every project should have, which is implementation stage and close stage. So basically implementation is quite clear. It is where the physical work of the project will be done regardless of what it is. If it's software, this will be the development, the coding, the testing will be done. If it is a capital project, this is usually the stage will be divided into two stages, engineering and construction or design build. Uh, in some project, this stage could be divided into three sub-stages. Again, this all depends, it's highly variable on the nature of the project, but it's basically the stage where most of the money is expended to get the work done that we have identified in the previous phase as part of the detailed planning work and the development and the project definition stage and the development. So implementation is doing all the work, depend on the nature of the project. And of course, once we're done, uh, we go to closure and we do the close uh, stage. And here we notice we put the close stage as part of delivery as a political statement to make sure to let the people know that the project is not delivered until it is properly closed. Because a lot of organization, you know, once implementation is done and the work is handed over to the customer, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, thank you, uh, no more work, everybody disappear. No, we still have to do the closure of the project. And in the SUCAD model, we included this close stage, the close project stage as part of the project delivery phase. Okay, so these are two of the four stages. What are the other two? Well, if the project, and many, most project will probably have some kind of operation. After the project is handed over to the customer, it needs to go back to the operating units to manage that project. You know, obviously if it's facility, we'll have facilities management that once the project is complete, they will take it over um, to, uh, to, to manage the facility, to maintain it. If it is oil and gas or petrochemical or industrial project, usually we have operation and maintenance department that will take over to commission the facility and then operate it, obviously for if it's useful life. Uh, even if it is a project internal in a training department or an HR department or a finance department, usually the project is about producing something new or different or re remodification of an existing system. So once the project work is done, the result, the output, it has to be handed over to a department uh, that will be responsible for the product of that project. So, in those situations where we do have operation, um, or obviously post-project, post-completion operation, we have two st stages that we identified. The first one, we call it operational readiness. Now, in some situations, this could be combined with implementation. However, in many organizations, especially facilities project, operational readiness work is done in parallel to implementation. In this case, what do we mean? Implementation is focusing on the facilities, maybe the hardware, the installation, the design, the procurement, whatever the case might be, where operational readiness is focusing on everything that we need to do before operation can accept the project and start operating. So that means usually there will be maintenance procedures, operation procedures, maybe recruitment and training for new staff, uh, maybe establishing an accounting system or the IT infrastructure, whatever required that is not related to the physical facility, that could be people or process oriented. Usually we have a separate team uh, from the operation side 
uh, or the end user side, maybe is another word for this, is starting to work on getting ready to accept custody, we use the term custody transfer, of the product or the output of the product from the main team. So at a certain point on time, you know, once all the physical work is done and once all the operational readiness work is done, uh, the teams will meet and then will agree to hand over the project from the project team to the operation. And then that would be considered, we call it handover or provisional acceptance. Um, once that is done, in some situation we might need to go through an initial operations period. So we call it initial operation stage if it is required. There will be some work done. Uh, maybe commissioning, maybe some work, maybe working at lower capacity, maybe piloting the project in one department before rolling it out in other department. Again, whatever the case might be, if this stage is needed, if we have to go through an initial operation period, then there will be a stage called initial operation. If not, it can be combined with the operation readiness, or of course, if there is no operation, there is no operation readiness, and there is no initial operation. Now, of course, the final uh, output of this initial operation stage is final acceptance, and uh, that will be that will happen. And uh, while in this case project closure could be going on, so project close stage cannot finish until all operation readiness and initial operation activities are done. And to emphasize the need for project closure, we put a gate, a stage gate number nine, at the end of closure, basically meaning. It's a team, once they're done, they need to submit their closeout report, lessons learned, whatever else is required, and management will say, yes, great, done, thank you. Um, project is complete, project is closed, you can go home. Until the next video, have a good time.